fighting. That's a nice fish, guys. That's a real nice fish. Let's see if I can get him. Ooh. I'm Captain C.C. Corey. Come with me and experience some of the most action-packed and adrenaline-filled fishing that North and Northeast Florida has to offer. We fish for everything from huge bass in freshwater to monster tarpon in saltwater and everything in between. If you like seeing awesome jumps, If you like the sound of a screaming drag. Shit. Gosh. Man. If you like seeing big fish, well, you just might have found your channel. So sit back, relax, if you can, and let's see what we can hook into today with the North Florida Angler. Hey guys, CC Corey here in North Florida Angler. In this episode, I head to Orange Lake to try to catch another trophy bass. Now this lake is famous for producing some real giants. Just about every year, a lucky angler will catch a bass that weighs 15 pounds or larger. I mean, they're in here. Now when I fish this lake, I like to troll a lot and I like to use large shiners. I don't usually get a lot of bites, so I have to make sure I stay focused and ready, even when the fishing is slow, cause any bite could be a giant. So y'all come with me, and let's see what I can hook into. Maybe I can catch another trophy. Y'all check it out. All right, guys. Let's get some baits out of here and see what we can accomplish. There's one that's not doing so good. Get rid of him. There's a nice big shiner. I like to put a big shiner on the float rig. That's a good size one right there, guys. Big old shiner. Okay, got him out there. Put the clicker on. Set that rod down right there. And let's get one out that's just, uh, let's get one out that's slightly smaller. There's a nice one. Okay. Okay, got that one out. All right, guys, and what we're going to do, take it off spot lock. We're going to troll right along the edge of this, uh, these hydrilla beds out here in the open. What we have, we have submerged hydrilla beds out here. And we're just going to troll right along the edges of them. There's little clumps, too. And we're going to troll right over top of those and around those little clumps. Water depth is about six, seven feet deep. Again, in this lake, uh, I don't expect to get a lot of bites, but I'm hoping that one of them is going to be big. That's been my track record on this lake. This lake has never been a numbers lake for me. But I've caught some big ones in here. Coming over a clump of hydrilla right there.
Very important, guys, with this submerged hydrilla to keep your eye on the depth finder so you can stay right on the edge of it. Very important. Even though it seems like, uh, which I am, I'm several hundred yards off of the bank, you think I'm fishing just out in the plain open, but there's grass out here. And uh, to catch big bass, you need to fish around the grass. All right, guys, got to run. Okay, I think I got him, I think. He's down in the grass. It's coming loose, I think. Okay. He's fighting pretty good, but he's down in the grass again. Darn it. Okay. I think it's coming loose. grass down there. Uh, uh, I got a bunch of grass on him. Uh, put troll motor on his spot lock. Oh, he just stripped a little bit of drag there. That's a nice bass, yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is a nice one. Oh yeah. He's fighting. That's a nice fish, guys. That's a real nice fish. Let's see if I can get him. Whoa. Got him. All right, guys, yeah. Look at that sucker right there. <laughs> wow. That's a nice bass, guys. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'm definitely gonna have to get my scale out for that one. Right there, yeah, shoot ya. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. Guys, let's see what we got here. Okay, zero, zero. Ten pounds, one ounce, guys. Look at that right there. There it is. Ten pounds, one ounce. Shoot ya. Another ten pounder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah. Rinse her off here a little bit. All right, guys, there she is right there. And that's a beautiful bass right there. Fat, short, fat fish right there, yeah. Yeah, shoot ya, shoot ya. Yeah, big old fish. Man, she got down in the grass on me. I didn't think I was going to get her out. That big old mouth she's got right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beast right there, guys. 10 pounds, one ounce. Shoot you. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this fish in the well and uh, let her go later. I might catch another big one.
All right, guys, uh, it's late. It's uh, almost four o'clock, and I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to grab that big bass out of the well that I caught earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, show her to you one last time and then let her go right back in her home. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, there she is. Big old sucker. Big old bass right there, yeah. Yeah, she weighed 10 pounds, one ounce. Yeah, 10 pounds, one ounce. Yeah, big old fish, yeah. Yeah, shoot you. Look at her. Yeah, that's a big old bass right there, guys. Big old bass, yeah. She was 26 inches long, and that's a fat one, too. Look how fat that sucker is. Yeah, look how fat she is. Yeah, wow. Big old fish, guys, big old fish. Yeah. Look at that big old mouth she's got. <laughs> yeah. That's what you come fishing for right there, guys. Big old bass over 10 pounds. Yeah, shoot ya, shoot ya. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let her go right back in her home. I don't know if you could see her in that dark water, but she took off. All right, yeah. All right, guys, she swam off great. I don't know if y'all could see her in that dark water, but she took off. Anyway, guys, it was a little bit of a struggle today. Only had four runs the entire day, uh, but I got a good one, and that's all that counts. When I fish this lake, I don't usually expect to get a lot of hits. I usually come in here with uh, large to medium sized shiners. I do a lot of slow trolling along the hydrilla beds. I usually wait till it's a nice overcast day like today with a little bit of chop on the water, although it was a little windier than what I liked. There were some good spots I wanted to fish that I couldn't get to, but it worked out. Anytime you can catch a big old bass over 10 pounds, well, that makes for a good day, so I'm happy. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The North Florida Angler. Until next time, tight lines, good fishing. We'll see you out in the water.